Hey there, got Cookie, and today she is learning weight. Um, so, as you've already said, Cookie has a tendency to try to bolt through doors, which is a totally normal behavior for puppies or any dog. Um, it's not that they mean wrong by it, they just want to go see what's on the other side. Um, so today what we're doing is we're teaching her to respect boundaries um, by teaching her weight. Now, very important, weight means do not go forward. All we're asking her is to just not try to go forward through a specific threshold. The threshold being a door right now. That being said, a threshold can be anything you want her to wait at. Um, you don't need a door. Uh, for instance, we practice this on your hallway that does not have a door. It still has a door frame, but we can stand in between and make sure she doesn't get past. Um, other thresholds are car doors. How many times have you opened a car door and she just bolted out? That can be rather dangerous and weight is useful for that as well. Um, a big one for myself is stairs. I have a very large dog and I cannot allow him to go up or down stairs before me because I may fall down. Um, so stairs are also a really good area to practice this, but mostly we want you to practice weight anywhere you just want her to wait. It's that simple. So very important, weight is impulse control. So it's good to know that when we practice these types of things, usually not their favorite. Um, so keep it, practice sessions pretty brief, five to 10 minutes here, um, but mostly just practice weight every time you need to go through a door. There's always going to be a door that you need to go through. So what is happening here? So we have Cookie right here, and anytime she tries to move forward, Taylor is going to move in her space. Now it's really important that you understand the sense of urgency as you're practicing weight. Um, pretend there's a toddler about to step into a highway. How serious would you take that? You would do anything in your power to stop that kid from walking out into a busy street. The same applies for dogs. We don't want you to just let her get past you because the more that she can get past you, the less you will respect what weight means. So make sure that as you're practicing weight, go ahead and leash her up so that she can't get away from you. The other thing is if you're practicing with the door, keep one hand on the door handle. You can use the door handle or the door to make sure when she moves forward, the door closes or you get in her space. Dogs don't like it when you encroach in their space. Okay, good girl. Let's say hi. Good, good girl. Good, girl. Good, job. good job. Good job. Very hard behavior, as you can see. Good job. Good job. Her friend is out here, so she's very yes, concerned. Very, very hard. But that is also really important to note. We are practicing and doing this video progress report here at the front door. That being said, when we started this to try and to teach her what weight meant, we did not do this starting with your front door because the front door is the finish line and we knew that she probably wouldn't succeed, which wouldn't be really fair. So when you're practicing this for the first few times, practice this in hallways, the stairs indoors, the back door, um, anything that's simple, and then build up to the front door. Okay, good girl, good. Good, job. good girl. You don't good. have to use treats for this, but I'm choosing to do it because it's particularly hard for Cookie, and we know that she has a history of bolting. So I want them, the reward is going through the door, which is a life reward. However, the, also, the other was the, uh, is actually the, the food. So I'm making a double whammy for her. Good, good girl. girl. That's a good girl. can't see her sit. sitting, but she's sitting. She's sitting. She's being a really good girl. Good job. Good. All right. All right. So very important. When you ask wait, um, you were going to show her a hand signal, just sliding your hands like this. Yes. Wait. Good. That'll be the hand signal for that. Make sure you say it pretty firm. Make sure you say it before you open the door. Um, you don't want her to wait after the fact. So make sure you let her know, hey, I'm asking you to wait before I do this. Um, and then you mess with the door and if she tries to get past you, close the door. Make it very abrupt. Um, your, your intention is not to scare her or to harm her, but you want her to know that trying to get past you in this moment is not a good idea. You will notice that Cookie's probably gonna offer you a lot of behavior. If she sits, if she lays down, if she barks, all of that is fine, none of that is weight. We're okay with any of it. We don't really want her barking at you. And if you get that, just wait her out until she's quiet. And notice uh, where I'm making her wait at. So for her wait, I want her on that rug right there. I don't want her any um, closer to the door. If she is too close to the door, then your wait will not be successful. She's gonna think that she can get past, sorry baby. She's gonna think that she can get past you, I'm sorry. <laughs> get past you. So you wanna make sure that she is far enough away from the door so you can actually open the door comfortably without feeling like she's rushing you, which is the biggest thing. If she's rushing you, do not open that door. Only open the door and practice weight if you have her attention and have her in a calm, stable position. And just kind of a rule of thumb, she should be anywhere between one to three feet away from the door, and you can decide how far that distance is depending on the door or depending on your or how comfortable you are with it. Good girl.
uh, demonstrate with the door open this time again. Good. Now it is really important again that you practice this with her on leash so that if she does get away from you, you immediately have her. She didn't get very far, therefore she did not win. Talk about body language. Yes, very important. So you'll notice that Taylor, um, as she's practicing this, she's making sure that she's not just opening the door and showing her back to Cookie and walking away. For most puppies, when you show your back to them, they're probably going to follow you. We don't want her to follow. And every time she's trained with us, we've been very frontal. So you want to make sure that as you do wait for the first time that you're facing her, and then you ever so slightly start inching away, away slowly. And then as you keep working on this, and you always have one eye on her, you eventually will be able to do wait with your back turned and be able to walk through as she is still waiting. Right now we're adding a few more distractions. You could definitely ward in between, put water in between. So I'm giving her treats for staying put while Gio's being very distracting. And the last note about weight is as you're practicing weight, you'll notice that we continue to let her go through the door. However, it doesn't mean that she needs to go through the door, so practice yes. it both ways. Oh, practice saying weight and then rewarding her on the other side. She's actually not allowed to come through, but also practice where she is allowed to go through. Um, variation is key and really testing out um, where you guys succeed at, where she fails at, and really cleaning up those areas. But as you can see, Cookie is a rock star. She's doing awesome. Um, and you let us know if you have any questions about this behavior. See you later.